David came to us a couple of years ago looking for a bit of help getting into a job. David identified as someone who had a learning disability so he had a few challenges getting into work and was just looking for a bit of practical support to help him get in there. In engaging with local employers, eventually we identified Billy Bowie at a recruitment fair and after a bit of chat, Dougie identified that there were kind of two placements that he might like to fill. David was initially with us for about 10 weeks. In that 10 weeks, we introduced him to the job. We showed him the tools and techniques to carry out the job and the standards required to do the job. So it's basically just a continuous learning cycle for those 10 weeks. Billy Bowie were very big on were, were yellow livery, so it needed that livery to sort of stand out from everyone else on the road. So the trucks you need to be cleaning, and that's what we spent a lot of time showing David the areas of the trucks that need to be cleaned. So the truck driving on the road looks basically as good as the day it was brand new. Probably around a, a few weeks period, I was in with David most days washing trucks and skips, and it was reinforcing a message and an age of a kind of partner cleaning in a, a way that he could work to make sure he was covering all areas and make sure he was doing it in a kind of timely manner and gradually I slowly came off and gave David that wee bit more independence himself and nearing the end of David's 10 week trial with Billy Bowie took he was really was happy with his progress and really admired the, the work ethic that David showed. David has all the qualities we look for in an employee He's conscious about his work. Most mornings in a wee bit early needs to be. So he's coming into work. He's spending time getting himself composed, ready for the job. We give him trucks as, as the day goes on and he washes trucks for us. We have a, we have a massive self-drive hire fleet. Um, these trucks always come and going, so he's basically to bring a truck back to its original glory. So any customer can come and hire it, and the truck's going to be like the, like the day it was brand new. Since joining the company, David has gone really well. He's a very likeable person. He gets on well with other guys in the company and he's grown to be a very valuable member of our team. From when David came to us, he was a, a young guy who didn't know where to go and to be honest, I don't think rated his, his chances of ever really getting anything. Through some of these interventions, David's now working full time, he's getting a wage his own, he's able to save. He's making friends at work, going social nights out as we all do, and now kind of has a, a prospect for the future, a, a secure permanent job which lets him build and plan for the rest of his life. When I left the school, I would be 16. Left the school, went to the college, then I was involved in a car accident, so. I couldn't go back to the college because I was quite badly hurt. And then I met my boyfriend at the time, went on to have children, so I didn't get into employment. And then we separated, I moved back to Comnock and then that's when I decided to get into employment. Went to the Me To You group at Comnock Academy for 12 weeks, done that, that was successful. And then met Maureen Miller who got me into the work experience up here in Butte House and then went for there. The support that woman's gave me was remarkable and I can't thank that woman enough. I have got a caring nature and I enjoy helping people and helping folk, make, it makes me happy. So making them happy makes me happy. So it's a win-win situation really. Kerry's fitting in great, absolutely brilliant. Um, she's became an asset to the team and uh, Butte House. Um, she works well as a part of a team, great carer uh, and she does a role well has adapted to the environment. I did kind of had dyslexia until last year because I actually got a test through the college and it come back I had that and finding that out it's kind of boosted my confidence a wee bit because I always thought I was stupid. So it proves that I'm no 100% stupid. I go to a literacy person once a month, Laura, for essential skills. So I get help with that plus in my SVQ I got a blue underlay so they do help. If you ask for it, you get it. The work experience up here, it went quick. I just didn't, well, obviously I only shadowed, so there was only so much I could do, there's so much I couldn't do, but um, it flew past. And then I think it was the sixth week into it that I got offered a, a job. So even before it was finished, I had the job, so fantastic. I think I smiled for about a month. <laughs>
<laughs> Actually, I've got quite a few friendships in here now, so it's, it's in Sif, I've kept them for years. Bosses are great too, they're all great. So is all folk, they're great too. <laughs> I'm now doing my SVQ too, so it's, it's been instant. It's just like, it's in Sif, I've been here for years, really. <laughs> my children. Well, I've raised them myself for about six years. It's been very challenging, but it's been rewarding at the same time. Well, they're proud of me, so they're really proud of me. It's changed them. Obviously, I'm working now, so they're helping me. And they see that it doesn't matter what age you are, what background you come from, or anything that you can do if you put your head to it. So I've, I've taught them as well. So it's, it's quite rewarding that way. I'm not just Courtney Kagan Aiden's mum. I'm Kerry again, so aye. It's, it's showed me a few things. I'm not just somebody's mum, so aye. It's helped me. What advice I would get, I would just say to them that to always, always believe in yourself and to do it because if I can do it, only they can do it. And that would be my advice. So I'll stay here as long as everybody likes me. <laughs>
year result and I've done my modern apprenticeship. I am probably going to look for a, a job similar to it, if, if so will allow me.